30 Second Teddy Awards. Very nice to have you here. Thank you for having me, I'm delighted. Can you start off by giving a short introduction of yourself, please? Uh, my name is Rotting Garrity and I am the programmer for Gay's LGBT Film Festival in Dublin and I've been programming there for four years. Thank you. Uh, so the situation in Ireland in terms of LGBT rights, can you expand on that a little bit and the reason why it's necessary to create a space specifically for queer cinema? Then? Absolutely. Um, actually, it's, it's very interesting in Ireland because the country has come so far so fast in terms of LGBT rights and you know we, we broke away from Catholicism very fast um, so homosexuality actually was not decriminalized in Ireland until 1993 so we're actually a huge part of gays this year will be to celebrate the 25th anniversary of decriminalization um, so the festival our festival actually began in 1992 so before um, decriminalization happened in Ireland. Um, and then the, the marriage equality movement, the roots of that movement uh, in Ireland really started in the 90s. And um, then we are very, very proud that we were the first country in Ireland to uh, introduce marriage equality by popular vote in 2015. It was huge. I th it was just wonderful it, it really was for I for my generation in Ireland it just was one of the most profound things obviously not just for my generation but it was it was just something that we all care most people I know we just cared about it so much and when we finally the day after the referendum was just one of the most wonderful days Ireland has ever seen it really was amazing <laughs> And how do you think cinema can be used and the visibility of uh, queer people on the screen, how do you think that can be used to further the rights of LGBT people in Ireland and elsewhere? Well, it's in Ireland, LGBT cinema and is, is really, I wouldn't say it's in its infancy, but there, there isn't a lot of visibility of LGBT film in Ireland. Like in the last couple of years there have actually been um, some very uh, well-known um, feature films that have come out but before that there, there wasn't a lot. You know there's a lot of uh, you which, know, which films? Um, there were two films specifically called Handsome Devil and uh, A Date for Mad Mary which were released about two years ago and they had a huge influence. They were made you know by the you know production companies in the Irish industry that I don't know that they would have perceived what a huge impact they would have had on for Irish LGBT visibility like in Ireland and outside of Ireland. Those films played so well internationally and I really do think that they had a huge impact. For example, um, gays, uh, we do um, like focuses on Irish LGBT uh, film outside of Ireland sometimes and we we screened we had a focus in Montreal two years ago sorry a year ago and we screened the film Handsome Devil and there was an Irish man probably in his 70s or 80s in the audience that came up to me after the film and he said that is just like my experience of going to a boarding school in Ireland and he was so emotional and he was like it's so it made him so happy to see something like his own experience reflected on screen and that's really what it's all about for us is the power of LGBT stories to change hearts and minds. Yeah. So And to see yourself represented. And to on see screen. yourself represented on screen. Even at exactly. That age. Yeah. Amazing. And can you tell me how you think that your background and your work will help you in your decision making on the jury? That's a tough question. I'm I'm a very emotional person and I'm always just at the base of everything is I just want to see film that moves me and makes me feel something and that I learn something from. So, well, that's, that's what I'm always looking for. I just want to see film that moves me. Um, that didn't answer that question properly. No, nope, that's good enough. <laughs> uh, but but that, that, that's what I'm looking for all the time, no matter what I see. You know, that feeling, that, 
the cinema gives you. That's that's what I like. I I see uh, film and cinema as just the most accessible art form, and I think it is so important, not just for education, but uh, that not. Sorry, can I say that again? <laughs> I think that film is the most important and accessible art form in terms, not just in terms of entertainment, but in terms of education. Yeah. So that kind of brings it back to, you know, representing LGBT people on, on screen and normalizing uh, the experiences of LGBT people. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your Berlin Island. Thank you.